welcome to Learning More. Today we are talking about division and your child's division journey. Now we're talking very about very early division in this video and we're going to think about the concept of having because of course having is really division at a very early stage. Now we talked about sharing and sharing things very practically but we want to bring that vocabulary of half into the mix because that again is very early division vocabulary and a very early division concept. You want to start very, very practically with your child by giving them things that they can actually start to practically half between two people. Now your child will already have explored doubles probably at this stage and they'll probably be pretty confident with doubles up to 10 or 20. So if you say what's double two, they should be able to tell you it's four. And you want your child to really be at this stage before you introduce this part of the division journey. So you should be able to ask your child what's double 10, they should be able to tell you 20, what's double three, it's six. Once they've got that into their minds, this is a really good way of using and leveraging that information to really start thinking about division. So here I might be giving my child a very, very practical little word problem. And I really do believe that problem solving needs to come in into all aspects of maths. Children need to see the reality of maths and they need to be able to put it into context. So this is perfect. And again, at this stage, I keep it very practical and very, very visual. So here I will tell my child, I've got 10 little monsters because we love these little creatures in our house. 10 little monsters and I want you to share them between me and you or you and your brother or you and your friend. But before I would allow them to actually touch those and start doing the one for you, one for me method, I'd actually get them to think about you've got 10. What do you think might be half of 10? And here you're now encouraging them to think about, well, I know that double five is 10. So mm, could I relate that to having? Could I relate that to my division? And you want them to make that prediction first. So you're asking them, what do you think half of 10 might be? And actually give them that idea, tell them to think about doubles, give them a clue and really talk through that with them. So they made the prediction, doesn't matter if it's wrong, if it's wrong, that's fine. This is a perfect way of double checking and then let them proceed to share. So. One for me, one for you. One for me, one for you. One for me, one for you. If they have got that really solid grip on doubles and they might say, well, I think the answer's five, get them to count out five and another five and double check that it is equal. But that is just a really good way of using those doubles to then transfer into um, using that division. Another way then is you can actually use a nice visual problem. If your child's creative, if they like drawing, this is another nice way of actually physically sharing and starting to get some written recording down, even though it is very visual at this stage. And again, you want to be talking about that idea of half. So I've got eight sweets up here. How can I break that into half? How can I share it between Emily and Rose? What could I do? And again, allowing to relate to that idea of doubles what is double four? What is double five? What is there anything here that you can might be able to relate to? And actually getting your child to really talk through their reasoning behind it. So I might say, right, so here are my eight sweets. I've got Emily and Rose here. Could you share those sweets between Emily and Rose? And again, I'd physically get them to get their pen. If they want to use the same colour of sweets, that's absolutely fine. I know in our house they definitely would. And actually physically get them to cross them off as they share them because you don't want them to be making mistakes. And again, in fostering all those ideas of double checking as you're going along. So they might get their purple sweet and they cross it out and then they draw it down beside Emily. And then they might get another purple sweet and cross it out and draw it down. And I'm just going to go through this here. So you cross out your sweet, you draw one here. And there's Emily has got her sweet. You cross out, oh, I want to have, Rose wants to have a purple one as well because I want to be all fair here. And I've now crossed off my sweet and drawn it down there. And you can do that process until you've shared them all out and then double check your answer. But I think the most important part of this is actually getting them to make those predictions based on their doubling knowledge first so that they can start to see that relationship between the operations and the numbers. Mm -hmm.